Zimex TV, Zimex TV, Zimbabwe leading trending gossip TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms Zimex TV on Instagram, Zimex TV on Facebook, and Zimex TV on our YouTube channel. Welcome to Zimex Sports for the love of sports. Remember, guys, to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel on Zimex TV. And like I said yesterday, which was the 10th of uh, January uh, 2021, Zimbabwe versus Senegal. I'm on a game that under rewards zero. You know, I could not do a video yesterday because of the heart, heart, heart pain. Yeah, we're going under rewards and zero man. I'm going to rewards zero. I'm going to you know. But anyway, do game that under do game that under. So it seems uh, the more things change, the more they remain the same. This is the same story for the fifth time at the same tournament since the team first made it for the Prem competition in 2004. Just when it looked like the gallant warriors had done enough to snatch a point against Africa's top ranked side Senegal, the world crumbled under their feet with literally the last kick of this 2021 African Cup of Nations Group B opening match defeat yesterday. Liverpool superstar Sadio Main, who had spent the larger part of the game under lock and key, rose to convert the decisive penalty following an unfortunate 94th minute handball in the Zimbabwe penalty box. What was probably more painful was that when the referee, Jean Jacques Ngambo Dala, adjudged Kelvin Mazongo to have handled the ball in the box, the four minutes of additional time had already been up. It's a game the Warriors came closest to picking a point against the Lions of Teranga at this Benino football tournament, somehow failed to sustain their resilience at the very death. It's a game the team will always look back on with pride, especially after Maine admitted in the post-match conference that Zimbabwe are indeed fighters. The fans Senegalese side boasted around, especially in the opening stages of the game with Zimbabwe, to come out of their shell. The Warriors went into the game as complete underdogs and Mapeza's game plan worked perfectly well after keeping the West Africans at bay for 90 minutes. However, the technical team could not quite manage the match to the end. Each man thrown to do duty in this tie gave everything, especially the new boy Kundai Benyu and goalkeeper Petros Mari, who was outstanding throughout the uh, afternoon. I would like to salute my players. What they put in was extraordinary. Nobody gave us a chance against Senegal with the quality they possess. I should reserve special words for every individual who played a part in today's game, said Mapeza. We did everything to repeal the Senegalese until that moment we concealed the penalty. We should pick every positive. Once again, let me salute my players. Playing against Senegal is not something simple. It needs hearts and the players showed big hearts. They played their socks off and for that day, they showed that they can compete against top teams. We now have to go back to the drawing board and plot how to play well and convert chances going forward. See what comes out in the final two games. Tournament football needs goals and we have to work very hard to score as we look to our next match against Malawi but overall it was a good display of football by my players they deserve every praise after spending most of the afternoon being frustrated by Benyu and Mazongwe men had brilliant moments but was certainly denied the best ones which he usually enjoys at Liverpool each time he touched the ball the 20,000 seater Bafosom or Municipal Stadium would go crazy but he wasn't allowed to have it his way, especially after being denied on an early one-on-one -on -one opportunity by the impressive goalkeeper, Mari. He admitted at the end that Zimbabwe gave his team a good run for their money. It wasn't easy against Zimbabwe. The match was very tough, but I'm glad we managed to win at the end of the day. He said, we need to be disciplined going forward with several good moments and Zimbabwe defended well. That was a good match. Despite being mainly forced to be defensive mode, Zimbabwe created good moments for themselves too. With a little courage, they should have even beaten the 2019 AFCON finalist. Red Jim Sona, who showed some signs of weariness in, his, in this encounter, Prince Dube, Ishmael Wadi, and substitute Tinoka Dewero all came close for the Warriors. Guys, that's the latest year. And uh, we lost 1-0 against Senegal yesterday, which was the 10th of uh, January 2022. And we played a very, very good game. 
we played a very very good game and our next match is gonna be against uh, Malawi on Friday at uh, six o'clock at that time and uh, yes we're gonna keep you guys in the loop as we build up for that match and uh, let's hope that uh, we win the last two matches against Malawi and Guinea because yesterday Guinea beat Malawi 1-0 and uh, so Guinea is gonna be a very tough encounter and uh, so Guinea and Senegal are now on three points each so we need we need to win our last two matches and against guinea and malawi so guys this is uh zimex sports for the love of sports They're watching zimex tv remember guys to like share and comment and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads here that we do upload here on this channel here on zimex tv you're watching zimex sports for the love of sports bless up okay.